Hi, it's Elder and welcome to another quick tutorial. And today I'm going to show you how to change the appearance of the textures we have in Blocks 3. If you don't know what Blocks is, Blocks is a visual web design app for Mac which lets you build beautiful websites without coding and if you don't know what texture feature is, it is basically this option we have in the right sidebar, which allows us to add some kind of effects to our backgrounds. So let's say that here I have some kind of header here. So I will add the image. And if I were to use this image, it will be looking great out of the box. As you can see, we have a great contrast between the white text and well, darker image. But what if we want to use the image like this? As you can see that the white text is not as visible as on the dark background and if we change it to something like this it will be even worse and we can of course change the text to black but then it won't be perfect as well so what we can do here is of course we can take the image edit it in our image editing software make it darker and then import to blocks and sometimes it's okay but sometimes I feel lazy and I just want to quickly add some kind of contrast between the text and the background. And we can do that using the texture feature. So if we go to the sidebar and of course we need to select the block, this is the image, we can do that using the layer navigator here or we can just select the block. And then in the right sidebar we have this background section. And if we go to texture, we can apply a number of filters. For example, we can apply the paper. It will be some kind of paper design. We can apply it, for example, pixels or lines or, for example, squares. As you can see, we have these squares here. But the two of the most popular ones are darken and dark and strong. And these are basically just dark overlays. The darken will give us some contrast like this. The image will be darker, so the text will be more visible and the dark and strong will be even more black. So it will be even better contrast between the image and the text. And these two options are quite useful and I use them a lot when I want to create some contrast. But sometimes I think that the dark and strong is too dark and darken maybe is not too dark and if i have for example some kind of brand color which is blue i want to have maybe some different color overlay and i have done that in a couple of my latest templates for example if we open the well company template i won't say that for now if we open the company template you can see that i have this block here and it has the blue background but it is actually not just the background it is just a regular image with is the darken effect applied so if i get rid of that you can see that it is just white image and if i add that it will be blue like that and as i just showed you this is not how blocks works out of the box i changed that and i'm going to show you how you can change that yourself in this video and before doing that, let's open another project of mine, which I have done similar changes to. So it is the church template, one of the recent templates. And as you can see, I use it quite a lot here. So if we get rid of this texture by default, you can see that this image is quite dark already, but my brand color, as you can see, is kind of this yellow brownish. And when I select the darken effect here, as you can see, it will make it more of my brand color. And it is the same for all of the images I have here. So even here, you can see I have this bright background and the text is not 100% visible all the time. But if I go to the texture and apply the darken, it will make it much more easy to see. So without further ado, let me show you how to adjust the design for this effect. So I will go back to the, well, to this template here and I will create a couple of blocks with the background images. So 
let's add the some kind of title we will make it white and let's align it to the center and i will add the oh let's add this one this image and as you can see it's not very visible it's not very contrasty so let's select this block and duplicate it a couple of times so we have three blocks like this and what i'm going to do now i'm going to apply this darken effect to the first image and i'm going to apply the dark and strong effect to the second and this one will be just the image and actually let's change them so we have this gradual look and we can use it like this in this template but what if i want to change these effects well it's very easy we just open the class manager and add a couple of classes and the classes are texture darken before of course i will share the text the classes in the description below but usually you can just add them open and this one is for the darken so if we go to the second tab of the class editor this one we have this background section and all we need to do here is just click on the color and as you can see we can change it For example, we can change just the opacity to make sure that it is the amount of opacity we want, not too dark, not too bright. But if we have some kind of brand color, for example, let's say blue, we can add blue and then change the opacity to what we want. For example, like this. Or maybe something darker like ocean. Yeah, something like this. And once we've done that, we can go to any page on our website, any block, and we can just select the texture, darken, and it will give this bluish design, bluish overlay to all the sections we apply this to. And you can use it for image backgrounds or just regular blocks, actually. You can just go to any blog on your website. Let's select this block. And if we add the darkened texture, it will create this kind of design. And let's also do the second block as well. So let's go to our page here. This is the three blocks. And for the second overlay, we will have the dark and strong. So let's type texture, darken, strong, strong before. So we've done that, let's open it and for this one let's say that we want to have some different style. For example, let's add the red color, as you can see it becomes red and we can adjust the opacity to what we want once again and it will be used across all of our website. So if we go to other page and add the dark and strong it will be red if we add the darken it will be blue and so on so this is how you adjust it to basically any color you want and you can usually change it using the sidebar and if you decide that you don't want these colors to be there you can just go back to class manager select the class you have added and delete it once you do the style will be just removed from your project and it will be reset to the basic dark and strong which we had by default in blocks so this is how you change the color of the texture overlay in blocks free and if you like this video please give it the thumbs up and consider subscribing for more videos like this and if you have questions or need help with anything let me know and I will do my best to help you. And thank you for watching this video and I will talk to you in the next one.